to access your contacts and contact groups. In a Chrome browser within any one of your G Suite apps, choose the apps launcher here and choose contacts. You can also get to contacts in any web browser by going to contacts.google.com. It's also a good idea to bookmark this within your browser so that you can quickly get back to it anytime you need. Personal contacts appear in contacts. If shared contacts are available for your domain, they appear under directory. If you send an email to someone who isn't in contacts, they're automatically added under other contacts. Let's create a contact. Click create contact on the upper left, then choose create a contact. Enter the contact's name and add any contact information you like. Optionally, if you wish to add additional information such as their nickname or a mailing address, click the show more or plus fields and fill in those details, then click save. To add contacts from your organization's directory, choose directory from the left menu and select a contact, then choose the add to contacts button. Now it'll add a copy of this contact to your own contacts address book. Click the pencil icon to make edits. Use labels to organize your contacts into contact groups. On the left, under Labels, click Create Label and enter a name for this contact group. Then click Save. Let's add contacts to a group label. Check the box next to each of the contact names to select them. In the top right, you'll choose the Manage Labels right here. All the ones that you wish to apply, a check mark will appear. Then click Apply. Now you'll see those contacts right here in that group. To remove a contact from the group label, select the contact then choose more and select remove from label. This removes the contact from the label and not from your contact. You can rename or delete a contact group label. On the left under labels, find the group you want to rename or delete. If you want to rename the contact group, just point to the pencil icon, rename it, and click save. Otherwise you can push the trash can to delete it. If you ever want to email from your contacts, just choose a contact and select an email address. A new compose window from Gmail will appear where you can type the body of your message and click send. email a contact or contact group from Gmail. In Gmail, click Compose. In the To field, start typing the address of the person or contact group. A list of matching addresses appear as you type. Alternatively, you can click on the To field on a new Compose window within Gmail. Your contacts will appear here and your contact labels here. Select the contacts you'd like to email and click insert. In the contact search box, enter a name, email, phone number, job title, or company name. You'll see matching results as you enter in text. Click the contact you're looking for or push enter to see the full page 
of the search results. You can manually merge contacts by selecting the Merge Contact button. To start a contact, click the star next to the contact name and they'll appear in the starred contacts section of your contact. To edit contacts, click the pencil beside their name and update one of the fields, then click save. To delete a contact, just select the contacts you'd like to delete, then select more and choose delete. You'll be prompted to confirm the delete selected contacts. And you have a moment just below to click the undo change. Unlike manually merging your contacts, there's a merge and fix section of Google Contacts that will do this for you automatically. Just select add or add all details with the button above to accept all changes. You can change how your contacts are viewed by display density and column sort order to compact the settings gear at the top will allow you to enable delegate access, undo changes, and more settings. Delegate access allows the delegate to view, edit, delete, and create contacts. You can just click the invite delegate button and enter in their email address. The undo changes allows you go, to go back up to 30 days and undo changes from 10 minutes to one week ago are options right here. The more settings gives you options to change your phone number country code and the sorting by last name or first name. As always, help is right here at the top. Choose help and you can search for help articles as well as browse all the articles here. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like, please check out my other videos where I show how to import your contacts from address books such as Microsoft Outlook as well as iOS devices. Another video I have about syncing contacts on iOS devices or using the contacts app on Android I devices. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your likes, comments and subscriptions to this channel.